Donald Trump has been criticized by senior Tory MPs, including a defense minister, for canceling a visit to a cemetery for American soldiers killed in the First World War because it was raining. The U.S. president was due to visit the Ain Marne American Cemetery and Memorial in northern France on Saturday, but later pulled out as a result of scheduling and logistical difficulties caused by the weather. White House officials said that light, steady rain and a low cloud ceiling prevented his helicopter from traveling to the site, prompting Chief of Staff John Kelly to step in on his behalf. Defense Minister Tobias Elwood criticized President Trump, saying senior politicians should pay tribute to the fallen, correctly, while former frontbencher Nicholas Soames branded the president, pathetic and inadequate. Mr. Elwood, a former British Army captain, told Sky News' Sophie Ridge, I'm sorry to see that decision was made for the United States. This was a pivotal event in stepping forward on the international stage, the first time that the standard was flown in global defense of liberty, it was if you like the United States joining Britain and wanting to play an influential role, a force for good on the global stage. And we've been working together ever since from that. And the debt of gratitude that we owe a whole generation, in Britain, six million people were mobilized for war, it's so important that we reflect correctly on what sacrifice was made and that needs to be done at every level, including by the Commander-in-Chief of the United States Forces. His comments come after Mr. Soames, the grandson of Second World War leader Winston Churchill, sparked a global response when he tweeted that the President had shown himself as unfit to lead his country. Mr. Trump is among 70 world leaders expected to gather at the Arc de Triomphe in Paris on Sunday to mark the commemoration of the centenary of the end of the war. Foreign Affairs Committee Chair and former Territorial Army Officer Tom DeGentot also swiped at the President, telling the same program, I don't remember operations being cancelled when it rained, I don't remember them being cancelled for the cold, I don't remember us refusing to soldier because the weather was inclement. I seem to remember in Iraq and Afghanistan, when sometimes it was minus 15 and sometimes it was 50 degrees in shade, we soldiered on. Labor also took aim at the U.S. Commander-in-Chief's decision to stay away from the service. Shadow Defense Secretary Nia Griffith said, I was absolutely horrified, quite frankly, when you think of the sacrifice people made, and I think people up and down the country and across Europe, whatever their political views, do think it's very, very important that we commemorate what happened and I think people were really taken aback by that. The opposition frontbencher added, I think he seriously misjudged the mood across Europe.